guys welcome to my channel i'm mercedes michelle and in today's video i'm going to be doing my vision board with you guys if you are new to my channel i've done plenty of vision boards in the past i've done a vision book i've done the you know regular regular vision boards all of that i show you how to do it i show you what i put on mine and i basically walk you through my life of me accomplishing these goals through my daily vlogs and all of that good stuff so in today's video I'm not gonna make this a how-to video. I feel like everybody in this day and age knows what a vision board is and they know how to do one. So I'm basically just gonna be telling you guys how I plan to do my vision board this year, why I'm planning it this way, my intentions, and kind of how I goal set and plan for a new year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, before you go, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, I'm actually in my room doing my vision board I had me some handsy dandy wine I'm drinking Stella Rosa because that's what I like I don't like bitter wine and all that stuff mm -mm, it's a no for me and I'm just in my bedroom where I find my peace and quietness in here so I don't have any interruptions or anything like that and then the things that I got were my printouts that I got from Pinterest Google and we'll talk about that more in detail I have this board but I also have another clear board that I forgot to get I think I'm gonna use that one and then I have just scissors and tape very you know not doing a lot so every year I would typically go through magazines find pictures with the magazines I feel like I'm just searching for something like I'm just trying to fill up my vision board and it's not really my aesthetics I really don't like the pictures but maybe I like the saying maybe it kind of represents what I want so this year I felt like it's more important for me to go in and google the images that I truly want that truly relate to me that truly pour out my intentions for each goal that I may be setting or want on my vision board. I hope that makes sense. I'm basically just going and searching for pictures that look like me, look like my goal, like exactly like my goal, not something that kind of mimics my goal. Let's say a beautiful island, but this island is not Jamaica, but I want to go to Jamaica. So I need a Jamaica island, not any old island. So I'm going to go search for Jamaica's island, whatever um, island I want to go to whatever beach I want to go to in Jamaica that's what I'm going to go search for because I am being intentional with my goal setting so with magazines I feel like you just kind of take what they're giving you and of course you can go out and find the best magazines and all of that stuff but it's really not your aesthetics it's really not what you truly want on your vision board you're kind of just going through and getting ex getting inspired don't get me wrong you get inspired by it but yeah I just find it's easier to just get on google and find some pictures that I like that's my aesthetics that I'm gonna look at that I know means exactly what it's supposed to mean so here are my images that I've selected they all kind of have a thing with them. I got most of my images off of Pinterest. I did find some on Google as well. I just type in whatever I'm feeling. If I need some, you know, affirmations, some uh, motivational quotes, some, something that's going to speak to me, I go and I Google it. However I'm feeling, whatever mood I'm in, or however you're laying out your vision board. For me, I do categories. So I want to talk about my love life. I want to talk about my family life. I want to talk about my career choices. I want to talk about my YouTube my friendships my friend group if those are the categories that I'm going to put on my vision board I'm going to search specifically for certain things that relate to each of those categories for me not for the world but for me so when I look at that vision board I know exactly what each of those things are representing so that's kind of how I plan out my vision board but I don't want to do too much talking in this video but I do want to go into detail on how I plan these goals and how how I try to be intentional with every step so that I can accomplish these goals I've been sharing my goals with you guys on YouTube for at least the last four years I want to say and you guys have been able to watch me accomplish those um, goals through daily vlogging if you watch me vlog my life you are watching me literally accomplish those goals slowly but surely you're watching me accomplish those goals so that's why I like to incorporate daily vlogging into my YouTube channel because not only am I coming on camera and saying, oh, well, I was able to accomplish this. Oh, I was able to do this. I'm actually showing you guys that process through 
my daily vlogging. You're literally watching me accomplish the goals that I set. So this year, your girl is like, I got to be a little delusional, you know? And what I mean by that is a lot of my goals are safe. I am a safe goal planner. If I don't feel like I can accomplish something, I'm not going to put it on my vision board. And that is not the best thinking um, because it limits you. It limits you and your fear basing your goals. And I I am no longer doing that. I'm going to take those steps to be a little delusional and I'm going to work hard to accomplish those goals. Now, will I accomplish all of them? Maybe, maybe not, you know, but I'm willing to go through those emotions if I don't, you know, instead of just not putting them on my vision board because I know I can't accomplish them or I'm scared that I won't be able to accomplish them within the year or the time frame that I'm giving myself and I'll totally dismiss them and that's just the wrong thing to do. Don't do that. Be delusional and this year, y'all, your girl is going to be delusional. So, so come for me. I'm telling y'all what I'm about to do. So enough of me rambling and talking. Let's get into my vision board. Okay, guys. So this clear plastic sheet, I've been trying to use this for so many different projects and it's just been a fail. So I'm going to use it for my vision board because I paid for this. It's cracked, but we're going to make it cute still. Okay. This is what we're going to use for my vision board. Okay, guys. So I have this clear little acrylic sheet that I'm going to use for my vision board. And here are all of my pictures. Honestly, there's not many because I'm being delusional, but I'm being very intentional with my goals this year. So I'm just going to start cutting these out. I'm steady always on the go. So for my goal setting, you guys, I just cut all of my pictures that I'm going to be placing on my vision board out and now I'm going to categorize them as to how I want them to lay out on my vision board. Okay, so this one just says do not give up. So this is like a self-help quote. Um, that may go in one of my categories about something else or it may just go in the quote categories. So this one is a mental note. Take the risk. Don't let the unknown stop you from progressing. Again, this can be towards career. This can be towards to a big purchase. You just never know. So, and this one says note to self progress, not perfection. Listen, I'm very hard on myself. So quotes like this. Are very helpful this is 50k on youtube now you guys know i'm sitting at about 20k on youtube right now so some may say this is a little delusional um with the growth that i've had on youtube and how long i've been on youtube but like i said we're going to be delusional this year so my goal is 50k this year on youtube so if you're not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe so you can contribute to that goal love so this is going to go in my love category this is protecting my peace leveling up personal growth minding my own business elevating women manifesting my dreams financial abundance positive vibes self love this is just everything so this might just go in the middle like bam right there because <laughs> that is everything um this is a picture of greece it's a little fuzzy my printer aims on the best job here is a picture of Alexis RX350. That is the car that I want. That is the car I want to work towards this year. Whether it happens this year or not, I need a new car. So God, send me a good lasting car, preferably Alexis RX350. Like I said, we're being delusional. 
and then I have money so I could put this money with this car because it's gonna take money to get this car that's how I categorize self care that is big for me because I get lost in motherhood because I get lost in being an employee I neglect myself a lot but this year we ain't doing that we're not doing that so self-care is number one reclaim your rest bam so i'm gonna put that in that category and then this is a youtube play button i want one of these so bad and i know i have to get to 100k not necessarily 50k but hey road to 50k is going to lead me to my ultimate goal of 100k once i get to 100k baby the rest is history okay so we're gonna put that in our youth section and then we have be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire again being fearless stopping the limitations being a little delusional whatever you want to call it to get to the goals that you truly desire stop being scared stop holding yourself back stop doubting yourself all of that perfection is found in accepting your imperfections nobody's perfect progress is still progress I have to tell myself this because sometimes I get in a slump and I just make no progress because I'm feeling like it's not perfect. You know, if that makes sense, like, no, just do it and do it to the best of your ability. At least you did it instead of being lazy and not doing anything, which leads to procrastination and then you get nowhere. OK, so I'm just going to start putting all of my things that I want in the categories that I feel they belong in. And we're going to do like that. Love is here. We have travel, dream, traveling, self-care, uh, wanting to get closer to God. We have um, just quotes, loving yourself, being fearless, do not give up. That kind of goes hand in hand. We got the YouTube. We got, you know, new car. Money is always there when I need it so I can pay for that car. And then we have our love life. You know, your girl is struggling in this area. I should have made these pictures as big as day because honey we gotta get this together but this is pretty much what the layout of my vision board will look like so i'm just gonna start adding it to the board it all has its own aesthetic so i don't really have to do any decorating like i've done in the past i feel like it's just giving its own little neutral not doing too much everything flowing together aesthetic so let's go ahead and place it on our board. Some things will never change. The lonely loner seems to be hiding at night. Day and night. Day and night. The lonely stone seems to be hiding at night. I've been through some shit, man. But I be on my shit, man. Okay guys, so I was able to finish off my vision board. So pretty simple and easy when you know exactly what you wanna put on there, you know your intentions, you know your goals. If you don't know your goals before you jump into a vision board, make sure to sit down and write out your goals so that you can really be intentional when you're planning your vision board and you're just not going for the cute, aesthetically pleasing pictures. Each picture actually means something and it makes the process go a lot smoother and quicker so you get the end result so that's what I did today I went ahead and put those goals that I had already into picture form so that I can visualize it I can see it and I can make it come true so even as far as my vision board I go a little deeper if I am looking to purchase a new car I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna look at cars I'm gonna test drive the car that I want to purchase I'm going to see myself physically mentally emotionally in that car to make sure one that's really what i desire and two i can make it feel more realistic like this is obtainable i can really do this i'm sitting in this vehicle that i want now i have to do the work so that i can get the vehicle i want so not only do i do a vision board i do take steps further like 
I bought a house, but I still look at my dream home. Like I still look at different homes to see what I want in a dream home. I go view homes sometimes because there is this dream home out there that I know that I want. So I don't just stop at where I am because, oh, I purchased a house. Yes, this was a starter house for me. And eventually, hopefully I can rent it out and generate income from it. But then I can go in and I can buy my dream home that has all of my desires, all of my wants. So I do go out and window shop homes. If I want a new bag, I'm gonna go look at that bag. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna see how it feels on me. I'm gonna see how it looks on me. That is how you be intentional. That's how you're going to be intentional. That's how you're going to really believe that you can have the things that you truly desire. So it doesn't just stop at a vision board. Go out and you you want to go to Jamaica, go look at the flag prices, go look at what it takes to plan a trip to Jamaica. Don't just put it on your vision board and think it's going to magically appear. You got to do some work, y'all. You got to do some work. I know some people don't really like vision boards and don't agree with the concept. I get it. They're not for everyone. But if you could just go out and visualize certain things for yourself, that's good enough. You don't have to do a vision board. But if you want certain things, go see those things for yourself. Go put yourself in that position to see those things. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos on vision boards, how to make one. If you're in the beginner stages, not sure what to put on it, go watch a previous video where I go in depth on one of my vision boards that I detail every single thing that I put on it. This vision board, I really didn't go into detail on why I chose the things that I chose, but in other videos, I've done it already. And there's other videos here on YouTube that has done it already but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so we can get to that 50k happy new year you guys i hope you enjoyed it be intentional with any desires and dreams that you have don't settle don't think that your dreams are not obtainable because honey there's some things that i've done that I, i'm like how did i do that be intentional. You can do anything that you set your mind to. You just have to believe it and you have to put in a little work. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.